why do we need yet another programming language, right? We have so many of these. Uh, why do we care? Why do we need um, one more? Uh, and the reasons for each company and each team vary. Uh, I'm just teaching a company that uh, they, they need a good, um, they're, they're basically a C sharp uh, shop, but they um, are starting to work with Kubernetes and also uh, they want uh, some good support for GraphQL and, and they're starting uh, to move now projects to Go. So for every company, the story is a bit different. I can tell you my reasons. So when I came to Go um, 13 years ago, something like that, at the very, very beginning of Go, I was looking for two things. One is built in concurrency. But in the old days, uh, we had what is called the free launch. Every time Intel uh, came out with a new CPU, the code ran faster. At some point, I would say 15 years ago, this stopped. Uh, CPU frequency at 3 point something gigahertz, not going much further than that. But we get more cores. And now it's up to us the developers to start doing things. And I was looking for languages that has concurrency built in into the language. Right, you can do concurrency in other languages. I came from Python. It has threads, it has processes, it has issues with threads, um, but it's not a first class citizen and, and writing concurrent code is not fun. Go has built in Go teams and channels as part of the language, which makes concurrency much, much more accessible uh, for your developers. The second uh, thing that I was looking into is what is known as the C10K problem. This problem states, how can I serve 10,000 connections from a single process, right? The world is getting more and more connected. Uh, I saw someone uh, complaining that their uh, washing machine is taking about a gigabyte of uh, bandwidth every month. So uh, we're getting there. Uh, and doing a, a thread per process or a, a thread per request is not going to work for 10,000 uh, requests. This is not something that happened. Most languages use what is known as an async IO program. Async IO, it's a, an effective solution, right? Used by Node.js, uh, Nginx, and others. But writing async code with async await and being mindful about what you're doing and knowing not to block the whole pipeline, it can be challenging. Go is doing it behind the scenes for you. These Go routines that we mentioned, uh, there is a scheduler in Go that works uh, with the operating system scheduler to make your CPU or your core utilization uh, better by doing async IO behind the scenes for you. Uh, Go also has a production ready HTTP server in the standard library. And I'm saying production ready, companies are really running it in production in front of the internet. Uh, it has built in uh, support for TLS, HTTP2. <clears throat> uh, it's very performant and has many, many other things that are really nice. Another reason, which is always a good reason, is money, right? So uh, one of the things, uh, Go started Google, and one of the projects they started with is uh, converting dl.google.com. dl.google.com is the site where you get patches for Android and uh, Chrome. There's a lot of traffic on this site. It was a big C++ application. They converted to Go. They reduced the code size in half. And I don't have to tell you what it means that you have half the code size. When we talk about maintainability, when we talk about cost, and we talk about bugs, uh, it's just better for um, almost on any aspect. Uh, they have the same CPU usage, less memory usage, and actually more bandwidth. Uh, there's a link to the talk by Brad Fitzpatrick uh, that was on the Go team at Google at, at the time. Um, it is 2013, so 10 years ago, but it's still a really interesting uh, case study and some of the tools they wrote in Go with it. Another example, more recent, I think 2018, uh, five years ago, Capital One, they moved uh, to Go uh, from Java. They saw about 70% per, uh, performance gain, about 90% cost reduction in uh, using cloud architecture, and about 30% uh, no, increase in team and should be velocity, but uh, it got trunked, sorry. Uh, so 30% uh, increase in team velocity. Okay, so Go um, is helping you. It, it is more efficient and we see some of the reason why it is more efficient and why it helps you and helps the developers and also in the development process. 